Hey there, Tom Romeo from PCS. I want to show you a few things that we did in the inventory aspect of Traverse that may help to make life easier. So you can see I've got the inventory review screen up. I also have the location maintenance screen up. And what I'm going to do on the location maintenance is just look up a different location. D14. Okay, so D14 does exist. Now, I'm looking at my uh, items, and if you look at my filter, I'm filtering by this particular product. And these products are actual pallets in a warehouse. Um, and this is a, a very specific type of inventory. It's not like your typical uh, storeroom where you're storing by a uh, UPC code. Okay, and let's see, I've got um, all of these items are in D12, but I discovered that these last three items, these three pallets, are in actually in a different row. They're in D14. So what I'm going to do is double-click 1776, okay, and I'm going to say change location. And now, you see how I can drop down here, but I can also type D14 here and move it. OK, and now if I just close this and refresh this, you will see that that palette is now in D14. If I double click the next, I click the wrong button, D14, move it, close it, and I'll double click this one, move it. Also, I want to point out that you see I'm typing here, but if I happen to have a cheat sheet of barcodes, I could scan them. So this way I don't have to do the drop down, right? I could do the drop down. I understand why this is a little bit more time consuming. However, just to make it easy so that you don't have to type it in, because remember, we want to make sure that we don't put any inaccurate data. So if I were to put a location here that doesn't exist, that would mess up my inventory. But since these locations are simple, it's easy to type, or you could scan it if you had a cheat sheet. Okay, and then I could just close that tab. And if I come back here and refresh, you see that now my last three pallets are in fact in row D14. Now let's say that this particular pallet only has 600 items on it. Okay. Now, when I refresh, there's my 600. Um, so, you know, um, I'm trying to make life as easy as possible, uh, but we do remember we need to uh, perform these transactions one at a time because the transactions, um, it's not just a matter of changing a quantity, it's an actual um, move transaction that gets stored in the database as a move transaction so we can query who did what. Uh, so I hope that helps everybody. And uh, also I want to show this screen. So let's go back to filters. I cleared the filter by mistake. Let's go back and put that skew in. It was this SKU, PS0016851. Okay, if I go to inventory by location and filter, now I get my different totals, right? I've got two pallets in D14 that are of a certain quantity. And I've got another pallet in that same location, same, but it's got a different quantity, and that's why it's listed out this way. And then I've got nine pallets in D12. Um, so that's it. I hope that helps everyone.